Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab Series video today. Um, I know I haven't posted one in a while. I think the last one was uh, kind of more of a uh, show of my home lab, but we did get a Christmas present for ourselves um, in regards to this. And I actually ended up buying the Unify aggregation switch. Ooh, this way. Um, because one of my goals for this year was to start upgrading my home lab to 10 gig networking. So this switch essentially is eight SFP plus ports for 10 gig, um, essentially, so that you can essentially, you know, do all your networking, 10 gigs, everything in. So uh, my earlier purchases with the two mini forms MSO1s um, has SFP plus, and I'm currently plugged into my UDM, but my UDM only has two SFP plus ports. Um, so it's not really that great. So I needed a switch, which I was contemplating between the Microtech um, for port one versus this um, one, which is about comparable in price if you were to buy two Microtechs. Um, but this this one, I decided to go for this one instead because um, it has eight ports um, and it's rack mountable. So it's actually will be nicer in my lab versus two like small, you know, like desk switches essentially um, with the Microtech one. So what we will be doing today is doing an unboxing, racking it, um, and then hopefully maybe doing some tests in regards to seeing, making sure, hey, do I get like 10 gigs between one of my minus forms to my second minus form? So um, let's get started with the unboxing and I will show you guys what it kind of was all included in the box and um, what we'll do with it. So, all right, so the box is pretty, you know, actually not, not that big. So like, this is like a normal length. Like here's my like iFixit kit. Like it's one, two, about like three iFixit kits. Um, length so it's actually not that big um, so that's just like normal rack and this like way significantly less for a rack um, so it's slightly smaller than the UDM um, if I recall correctly I should have done an unboxing for my UDM but I just did not have things set up to do an unboxing for it um, oh actually you don't even need a uh, pocket knife to unscrew it so so the nice part about this is it's just a tab you just roll it and it will Unbox. So I I love Unify's packaging. Honestly, <laughs> um, it's great. Um, let me throw that away. And let's take a look at what is inside. So there is a box to start off with in here. And I will show the box later, but it'll probably include all the screws and everything. But you can see in here that the switch is in here with the padding. So it's pretty. Ugh small it's actually that's even smaller than i thought it was going to be um so that's actually pretty cool i i did not realize how small this was going to be actually <laughs> Ugh, it's heavy i think the packaging said it was like 11 pounds or something of that sort um it's a lot heavier to lift with one hand all right clearly i need a new workspace so i can i can do things but this should be pretty simple. So you should be able to just open it up and then pop it open here. So here we go. Slide this open and you essentially got the switch. Um, so obviously keep the covers on to, to uh, not worry about dust um, because if, if you uh, have dust, that's really, really bad. If, it gets in, but you got, you know, you kind of like normal interface over here. You got the eight switches over here, uh, switch ports over here. And you can see how each, each one just looks like a normal one that you can plug in. The other thing, um, to also include is Unify does also sell their, um, SFP plus uh, DAC cables, direct attached cables. So you can get a pair too as well um, if you are looking for. Um, I know I bought, this is my first one actually, but I, I bought the 10G Tech from Amazon um, for when I got my mini forms. But these are nice. Um, they have a rubber capping to make sure you know you don't have anything. But um, same thing, you just plug it in. This is, this is a one meter cable, so it's not that big. Um, but we'll be using this to attach probably to the UDM or one of my mini forms because of, of sizing. But you can see that it is pretty small. There really isn't too much to it. Um, I'm gonna just cap this back until I put it in my home lab. Um, so that's that's the box. And then here we have, and I'll move that up here. 
the other the case that will probably include all the screws and the brackets. So we'll actually probably put the brackets on here, down here. Um, so you got your power cord, and then you got your two brackets for each side so that you can rack mount them. So I'm gonna put these brackets on right now, so that because I'm gonna I'm gonna actually mount them into my home lab. And then you got your um, screws and your and your uh, sockets for the rack mount. Um, outside of that, that's pretty much it from the box. There, there's a manual. Who reads manuals? Um, but uh, the brackets are pretty simple. You should be able to just open up the screws. Um, there's a variety of things in here. So the the smaller screws, which will be like this, like significantly smaller, like my hand smaller. I can zoom in too. Um, will be for the brackets that will hold into the switch. The longer screws, um, the longer ones, will be for these where you would uh, screw into your rack essentially um, so that it holds in essentially. So other than that, there really isn't too much to it. Those are the only two types of screws um, that you have. So you should have eight of the smaller ones and four of the big, oh, I need to zoom back up, and four of the bigger ones. <laughs> And then four of the sockets. So um, in this case, we'll just screw in the four smaller ones into the switch. I'm so looking forward to to this as well. Um, I've been I've been eyeing this for like so long. Um, but the reason why I jumped in on this was because they're doing the hol Unify is doing their holiday sale um, during their Christmas. It, it, I think they started like a week before Christmas. And I bought this like two days before Christmas. <laughs> um, and there was free shipping. Um, so the price actually worked out pretty well um, instead of buying their Microtech. So um, each side, oh, okay. Let's make sure that this doesn't fall. There we go. So each side, you pretty much just have it so that you can screw in here. You screw in the tiny screws and I got my iFixit case in here so I can actually do this um, and not use my Leatherman. Uh, for all my friends, <laughs> I do like the iFixit kit though. I, I, I will be honest, it is actually really nice. So then you just essentially screw it in and you populate the full hose, and then that should be pretty much it. Um, so I can do it like this on this side because the other side's still flat. Once I do the other, once I flip it over, it won't be flat because of the bracket. But it should work out pretty well though. And plug this in. All right, so that's that's pretty much that. And then when you do actually ma rack mount it, you know, screws in here. This will this will actually be hooked up to the rack. So you essentially just screw it in, and it will tighten to the rack essentially when when it happens. Um, and then we will do the other side here, which I can't hold up, but I can lean. This is probably not 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 a not a good thing, so we won't lean it. Um, but we will screw it in, and we will sh essentially show you what it will look like um, once we we are done. Did I did I lose a screw? I think I. I might have lost the screw. Unless there's only seven screws. Oh, one of the screws got stuck in here. Ugh. Small stuff. I was like, there has to be eight screws. Okay, so then we screw the last one in over here. Yep. And so this is essentially how it will look when it is racked. Um, you can throw the plastic away. Um, and yeah, so you can remove this plastic as, as, as well. 
unless you're Asian, you just keep all the plastic on. But usually, I would I would uh, tell you to probably remove it off of your home your hardware home lab because it does get a little bit hot and plastic don't, doesn't really line up uh, with being hot. <clears throat> so uh, essentially, yeah, that's pretty much it. We will go rack it. I might I might video that. I may not, but uh, we'll see. So um, stay tuned and let's see where we go. All right, so we got our switch plugged into our home lab. So uh, I have both my minis forms plugged into it. So essentially, uh, both my minis forms are running Proxmox. So you can see I have Proxmox and Proxmox 2. So that's one and the other. So we'll be using iPerf 3 to do some testing on just speeds, just to make sure, you know, I'm getting approximately, you know, the 10 gig that, that I want. So on Proxmox 2, we'll set up um, iPerf 3 to be listening. And then we will do a test. So um, my Proxmox 2 is on, on 106, as you can see. Um, so what we'll do is essentially have this hit Proxmox 2, and then we'll see how the transfer rates look. So while we run it, it'll be sending packets. So you can see um, in, in this test, it transferred 1.9 uh, gigabytes, and we're getting about 9.4 gigabytes uh, speeds per second. So we're actually really close to like 10 gigs here, actually, honestly. Um, so, you know, give or take, you know, other traffic that's happening with my uh, home lab. Honestly, you're getting, you definitely getting the 10 gigs uh, with this link, which is amazing. So um, honestly, now I have both my mini forms plugged into it. Um, I'm not going to upgrade my ISP to 10 gigs because there's really no point to do that. Um, at this moment, um, I think the next thing on my list for my 10 gig network is really getting a NAS that can support 10 gig and, and actually have, you know, 10 gigs worth of data that it can uh, go through. So flash storage, so a, a 10 gig flash storage um, is probably my next my next thing for my uh, 10 gig series. So um, we'll see what I, what I figure out, but that's definitely a next year thing. So New Year's resolution, maybe, maybe we'll get a, um, you know, a few terabyte worth of flash storage to be able to uh, stress test my uh, NAS on this 10 gig network. So, um, but that's pretty much it for this video. So um, Unify uh, aggregation switch, if you're looking for a 10 gig uh, switch that you can rack mount into your home lab, highly recommend. Um, it's been doing me justice so far right now. Um, and I'm looking forward to hopefully maybe buying a few more things. Unless Unify wants to sponsor me, I would love um, hardware. I did see that there was a, a NAS as well, and I was kind of very tempted to uh, get it. Um, but I have to do a little bit more research if I'm going to use it. Uh, I don't know how it works well with flash storage or if it's just hard drive. So, um, but anywho, hopefully you guys all have an amazing holiday. I know New Year's is coming up, so I might make another video on my New Year's resolutions for my home lab. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. So hopefully you guys have an amazing holidays and we'll see you guys later. Bye.